going on guys? Fit leaving here. A little bit of water in the lens. So today I'm going to be showing you all my custom built sound system. You just heard it. It's uh, really loud. I don't know how well you could hear that. Because that was a YouTube non-copyright song. And it didn't sound as loud as uh, most songs get. Uh, off like Pandora or something. But anyways, that was a little uh, sample of what it sounds like. So anyways, I'm going to show you all what I got. It's all custom built. First of all, let's get rid of that distortion. So, I got four Rockville six and a halfs in here. LED. I got uh, one on the passenger side mounted to a plastic box bolted through the roof. It's, uh, it's really lightweight. You ain't got to worry about it falling down or anything. You can find these... Uh, enclosures on ebay actually for 60 bucks for two of them these uh speakers are about 50 bucks for two of them also got one there i got one here bolted through the roof i got two in the middle on my main box where all my wires and stuff is there's a lot of wires in here in here i have a 1500 watt rockville marine audio amp that is right above the speakers. That's why this box is, you know, so thick. It's about not that thick, but I made it as thin as I can make it with, you know, still giving a little bit of space for the amp to breathe so it wouldn't ever heat. Yeah, there is uh, four speakers in here, six and a half. This is my main controls. Uh, first switch here controls all these switches the LEDs and the radio and uh, that basically throws power on so nothing's left on overnight you know as long as you turn the switch off and don't kill your battery so the second one here is for my Rockville uh, marine amplifier inside the box and the third one here is for an LED bar back here in the back of the box I got this uh, stuff mounted up here on Junior Strut, as you can see, maybe. Uh, it's got inch and three quarter strut straps, just wrapped around the roll bar back here. With um, it's got a little bit of uh, an old ratchet strap cut up to protect it from getting all scratched up if I ever decide to take it off. Drilled uh, quite a bit of holes back here just for ventilation for the amplifier so it wouldn't overheat never had any problems with it yet so so far so good I got a little 12 inch LED bar for my reverse light whenever this is actually clean it'll shine through there and uh, you can see her way backing up at nighttime got a uh, pline head unit it's uh, it's not the best it's uh, about 60 bucks and the only problem I got with it is a lot of distortion. Just whenever, like earlier, I had to hit pause. And I don't know what it is, but it's got a lot of distortion with it. This is my remote control. It's, uh, it's actually Velcro, but I don't want to take it off. That uh, controls different modes for all the lights here. Sorry if the camera's being sideways on y'all's YouTube screens. Yeah, that's uh, basically the upper part. The lower part, I got a Rockville 10-inch Marine sub down here in a custom-built box I built just for this area. Uh, I would show y'all, but you got to take the seat off, and you also got to take this entire panel off here in order to get down there. But that's basically a 10 inch uh, marine sub. Not had any problems with that. I'm sinking this thing up in mud and water. Just got my wire running up the frame. And it basically goes into the back of that. Yeah, guys, uh, that is about all I have for y'all. I just want to show y'all how I built this. And uh, it's a lot lighter weight than my previous one. I'll. Uh, I'll link my first build in the video. It's a, it was a big square box. It was ugly. It uh, it didn't really 
you know, I didn't really take too much time on it, you could say. But, yeah, this is uh, basically it. So if y'all enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe because I'll have a lot more Pioneer videos coming y'all way. Thank you.